Ah, please tell me that is not a croissant in her ear hole. Nope, that is earwax and that stuff is amazing. Each year, 12 million Americans show up at the doctor's office to have their earwax removed. And market research firm Euromonitor International estimates that North Americans drop $63 million annually on home ear cleaning products. Some people are so determined to rid themselves of it, they're willing to place a cone-shaped device in their ear and light it on fire in the attempt to create a suctioning effect and supposedly draw out the earwax. To be clear, object stuck in your ear plus lighting it on fire equals a terrible, terrible idea. Not to mention that it's scientifically unsound. For instance, the negative pressure needed to pull wax from the canal would be so powerful that it would rupture the eardrum in the process. The thing is our ears are self-cleaning. There are even specialized cells that migrate, carrying with them the dust and dirt that gets caught in the sticky stuff. And yet we poke, prod, and try to corral the amber ooze languishing inside our ears. And unless our ears are painfully impacted with the stuff, we shouldn't. Because there's gold in them there ears. Waxy gold. Earwax, officially called cerumen, is a variation on sweat glands. That's right, the stuff that produces sweat also secretes the wax that lines the ear canal. About half of the weight of earwax is made of dead skin cells. The rest, oils and proteins. Earwax not only helps to create a temporary waterproof seal protecting the inner workings, but it also lubricates the skin so that we don't go mad trying to itch dry, inaccessible skin. But the benefits don't stop there. It can trap and ooze bacteria out of the ear, and it has between one thousand to two thousand glands that produce antimicrobial peptides. It also contains lysozyme, an enzyme capable of destroying bacterial cell walls, making it an earwax hero, a bacterial street fighter patrolling the nooks and crannies of your ears. And if you've ever wondered about the color and viscosity of your earwax or even sniffed it, you're not alone. Why would scientists want to take in a deep breath of gooey pungent earwax? Well, the Monell Institute studies a rare genetic disorder called maple syrup urine disease, a metabolism disorder passed down through families in which the body can't break down certain parts of proteins. Urine in persons with this condition can smell like maple syrup. But it can be easily diagnosed through the scent of earwax compounds, which is a lot simpler and cheaper than a genetic test. Which gets to the idea that earwax may be a portable time capsule of a person's general health and wellness. So what if you could find a marine mammal that never shed its earwax? What could it tell us? Similar to the rings of a tree, the earwax of a blue whale is laid down in light and dark bands, with each band correlating roughly to a six-month period. So in 2007, when a plug of lifelong earwax measuring 24.5 centimeters was taken out of a blue whale, researchers were astounded to discover that not only had the whale been exposed to 16 different chemicals, including flame retardants and pesticides, they could also see when the whale had experienced extreme stress, with spikes of the stress hormone cortisol detectable in the wax. Something to consider the next time you find your finger wandering toward your ear canal. So what about you? Share with us your disgusting earwax stories. We actually want to hear them. That's right, this is a safe place. Let us know in the comments below and to keep the videos coming make sure to subscribe.